people are talking. I'm curious what we have. We usually only two stools up here, and we have an extra one this morning. Yeah, I, I know, know, and I think it's because we've got a drop-in visit from oh. a wonderful lady who we interviewed a little while ago. I'm not sure if she's around. Is she? Oh, oh. Oh, I know it. Wayland and Madam, we had you on our afternoon show a while back, but it's nice to see you again. Well, Madam. it's nice to be up this early. Yeah. <laughs> you we, have a new I didn't book? get to sleep till after five. Usually three is enough, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Madam, you know, you are absolutely outrageous, and now you put your memoirs. Oh, at long last printable. Into <laughs> this book called Madam. My oh. misbegotten memoirs. I don't yes. know what that means, but what the heck. I was surprised to learn that you and Teddy Roosevelt had mm -hmm. something going. <gasps> yes, I found out why he was called Rough Rider. <laughs> <laughs> and Flo Ziegfeld? Oh, Flo, yes. I started this, The Follies. He was in love with so many women. And at about 8 o'clock every night, he'd say, where? I wonder where so-and-so is. I said, why don't you dress them in costume, put them on stage? That way you'd know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> Will you also talk about your early childhood with, uh, with your, your, your mammy, Viola? Oh, big, big Viola. Big Viola. Uh, big Viola and little violin. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And the reason I was called Madam? Yeah. Uh, you know, my mother was an alcoholic, Charlotte Roos was her name, and uh, she was drunk when she had me. And when Big Viola came in with me in her arms, she leaned over the bed and says, your baby, madam. She says, it's a strange name to call a kid, but it'll save me a lot of trouble trying to think one up. <laughs> you know, you talk about your mother, madam, but your grandmothers were rather uh, characters themselves. Ella Zella and uh, Nellie, Nellie Cape. Yes, Ella Zella, Ella, Ella Zella. she was an aerialist. Uh -huh. Yes, and fell for a snake bite. Yeah, snake bite LaRue. That's <laughs> where I was wrestling alligators down in the Okefenokee Swamp for a while. I've got the person's shoes to prove that. <laughs> <laughs> what about Stumpy? Oh, Stumpy, that's my little chicken. Yes, I didn't have a doll when I was a kid. I had a little chicken that I dressed up. <laughs> Stumpy didn't mind, you know, the little dresses and the bonnets, or the, but hated those little high heel shoes I used to put on. <laughs> You know, you've got the book about your memoirs, but what's happening in 1984 for you, madam? Is there any special man in your life? Are you interested in anybody? Oh, no, I never really was married. I did live with a guy once for about 20 years, see if it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> worked out once. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're appearing here in San Francisco, aren't you? Yes, at, uh, what is it, Wolfgang's? Wolfgang's. Sounds like Mozart got hold of that or something. <laughs> I, I've never appeared there before, but I'm going to try. Okay. Well, we want to thank um, you, madam, and Waylon for dropping yeah, by to see us this much. morning. You have the new book out. Uh, yeah, right can, here. Uh, surely purchase that in all the major bookstores around the Bay Area. Waylon and madam are going to be at Wolfgang's starting tomorrow night. Actually, you're going to be there for one night, two shows, 8 and 11 p.m. And if you want more info on that, 441-4333. A nice hand for Waylon and madam. Yeah. Thank you very much.